Hello, my name is Dr. Delia Garcia, and I would like to clear up some misconceptions about soy and breast cancer. Uh, there are many people that are fearful about soy, especially in women who have a history of breast cancer, and I'd like to allay those uh, fears. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so my background is that of oncology. I'm an oncologist specialized in breast cancer. I practiced for 30 years. And, um, and what happened um, as I was in practice longer is I saw younger and younger women with breast cancer. And I certainly became very much aware of the association between body fat and breast cancer. Women who struggle with excess weight, whether they're considered overweight or obese, have higher circulating estrogen levels, and that's the precursor for breast cancer. So we need to be really concerned about our body weight and not concerned about soy. Soy is a, a wonderful source of plant-based protein, uh, that is used in many parts of the world. So why is there a concern about soy and breast cancer? The reason why is because of the natural plant hormones in soy. They're called phytoestrogens, they're also known as isoflavones. However, there really is no uh, comparison between plant hormones and human uh, hormones, but that is really why, uh, where the concern uh, comes from. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. Um, I love this study that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in, in December of 2009. So this study looked at 5,042 breast cancer survivors. They were Asian women and they looked at their soy consumption and, um, and breast cancer specifics. So women that consumed soy had a 32% decrease um, in their recurrence rate, which translated into a 29% decrease risk of death. And that was regardless of whether they had estrogen receptor positive cancers, it was regardless of whether they consumed tamoxifen or not. So again, no detrimental effect in over 5,000 women uh, with a history of breast cancer consuming soy. I love this next study, which was an American study published more recently in the journal Cancer in June of 2017. So this particular study um, reviewed 6,235 breast cancer survivors. These were American women followed for 10 years. And the women that were in the top 25th percentile for soy consumption, so those were women that consumed the most soy, were 21% less likely to die of any cause compared to those that were eating the least amount of soy. And again, there was no detrimental effect um, in those women that had hormone receptor positive uh, cancers, no detrimental effect in those women that were on a tamoxifen for the treatment of their breast cancer. Um, a meta-analysis of 14 additional scientific studies published on soy and breast cancer showed that women who consume soy live significantly longer, they have a lower risk of recurrence, and that was with um, really um, a small amount of, of soy. The equivalent of one cup of soy milk per day lowered the risk of breast cancer recurrence by 25%. And regardless, and that was regardless of estrogen receptor uh, status. 
So this is a summary of those 14 additional uh, studies um, showing no detrimental effect of soy uh, in women with a history of breast cancer. So my final thoughts on soy are this. Soy may actually prevent breast cancer. That's been shown in all of those published studies. Um, soy definitely benefits women who have a history of breast cancer. And the mechanism of action is similar to that of tamoxifen, the anti-estrogen hormone medication oftentimes prescribed for women with breast cancer. Um, it interferes with cell growth and proliferation. Um, other benefits are, of soy are the prevention of hypertension, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. And the women with the most benefit were those who began using soy um, in childhood or during uh, puberty. So the younger uh, that we begin using soy, the greater the benefits of soy. So I hope that this information has been beneficial to you. I hope that it puts your mind at ease. Let's be afraid of our body fat and our unhealthy lifestyle. Let's not be afraid of a, a great source of plant-based protein that, it, that is used around the world uh, and has beneficial um, effects, um, not only against breast cancer, but other uh, disease killers as well.